Okay, this is how to obtain Starholm on a leveling protection warrior. This is the main gate side. Um, this is the first optional boss. You don't even have to do him, but if you're going to do the quest, you might as well. Um, basically, this is you have the third mailbox, which you'll pass right by if you're going around doing all the quests. You're going to get attacked by the postmaster. Every time you open a mailbox, you're going to get three uh, undead postmen. And then eventually you're going to get um, the postmaster who is this guy right behind him. Basically he's nothing much to him, he's just got more HP than a normal mob would. Um, he drops a little piece of loot, so if you're doing the quest you might as well go ahead and track him down. Not much to him other than that. Okay, this is the first boss that you don't actually have to do this one either, but this is called the Unforgiven. You're gonna walk in this little area and it's gonna spawn on top of you. Basically, it just does a Frost Nova, and that's about all. It's just another Tank and Smack boss. Not much to it. You can skip it, but there is a quest for it, so if anyone in your group has it, it's not too far out of the way. Um, yeah, not much to this fight either. This is Timmy the Cruel. He's the second boss. He could be the first boss that you have to do. Um, he gets really hard. Other than that, not much to him. Just a pure tank and speed again. Um, we're getting into these level... These dungeons that all used to be level 60. And a lot of these bosses, there's nothing to them but tank and spikes, which I think if Blizzard was going to have to go back and redo all the bosses, they probably should have added some different mechanics to some of them to make them more entertaining. But other than that, these places are... Well, it's good that they redid them so that you can actually go back and fight them. Because uh, most people were skipping them and they just go from 58 to out. Uh, this is the third boss. He's just another tank and spank. I don't even know if he even drops loot sometimes. He just did a knockdown and he's going to do a shadow bolt volley. Um, you can spin him around like I did as soon as I saw him do that. Or you can just try to pummel it. Um, it is pummelable. But this guy doesn't even drop loot, so I don't even know really why he's considered a boss. Okay, this is Willie Hopebringer. Um, this is the first boss where you're actually gonna have to do something. I asked if any of the DPS wanted, knew how to do this, and none of them said that they had ever even been here. So what you're gonna wanna do is preferably have a DPS do this, but since I was gonna be putting this in a video, I thought I might as well go ahead and do it. Um, basically you pick up some cannonballs. After you pick up the cannonballs, you run over to the cannon and you shoot them at the guys that he calls to use ranged attacks on your group. Um, yeah, not much to it other than that. But it's interesting, at least it's not just a tank and spank. You can actually do it and tank, as you saw right here. Um, no big deal. This is Instructor uh, Galford. Uh, this, he's like one pull before the very final boss. Um, basically, he's a fire mage type deal. He's going to actually use a hole in the It's going to keep you from doing anything. Where he's going to throw fire at you. And what you basically want to make, make sure that you do is to make sure you have aggro so that he keeps aggro on you the whole time you're in it. He's going to cast Pyroblast, which he is immune to pummel, so you cannot do any of that. So you're just going to have to eat a pyro blast. Um, other than that, nothing much to him. This is the final boss. He actually does quite a bit. He's going to hit you with three forms of crowd control on your group right here. He does a mind control. He's going to actually get the paladin right here. I'm not sure if that's pummelable or not. I actually didn't even attempt it. I should have, but right there he can control the paladin. Now I'm taking two of them. Right there he fears the warrior, and then he stuns me. 
So one half of our group was under crowd control at one time. So he's actually, if he was to get the right numbers of your group of those who was a mind control healer, stun the tank, then you could be in some trouble, but mostly it's just a tank and spank, and that's all he's running. 